Hey, hello everyone and welcome in a new video. In the last video, we have seen how to install the, the ELK stack. And in this video, I just uh, want to show you how to do a simple example. Or um, not uh, uh, exactly an example because you never do it in production or you never do it simply. Uh, we just in uh, this video uh, do uh, some task to process uh, logs, uh, engines logs, and uh, to we do it to discover uh, the process uh, data uh, with the ALK stack. So the purpose is of uh, this video. Uh, first, uh, we install engines, and after we just add a grok pattern. Uh, grok uh, help uh, the filter of logstash uh, to process your data, and uh, after it, we just uh, configure uh, our logstash, and uh, we check. Uh, the 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 elastic search uh, index uh, with uh, the kibana, kibana uh, graphical user interface so we just start uh, simply and we just install engines on our uh, server this is the same server uh, like the previous uh, video this is the, the elk server so i just install it engines on our server and uh, to allow the uh, logstash uh, to scrap or parse uh, the the engines uh, uh, engines logs uh, we just uh, add uh, logstash user to adm uh, group okay so i do it oh sorry no not this one user mode this one so i do it okay and uh, i just check if our engines service is running okay yes now i just uh, create a grok pattern we will see it in the next videos uh, to do it i create a directory to store uh, uh, to store pattern so use sudo and after uh, i just change uh, the mode of this directory with sudo and after it i just edit the file in this directory i create a new file named uh, engines so i use vim to edit it and i create a two line like here we we'll see it uh, in uh, next video it is just uh, like uh, two variables for our grok and the grok is used uh, by uh, by logstash so now we just set our uh, logstash configuration so uh, to do it i just use the engines.conf uh, file uh, you can find uh, the repository of this video in the description of of this video uh, i copy it and i paste it in my file in slash etc logstash uh, logstash conf d and i uh, just uh, name my file engines.conf i paste it we'll see it uh, in ne in next video uh, we have an input then uh, we have a filter with our grok pattern uh, 
and to use our uh, file for our group pattern we just uh, mention uh, the patterns here in slash etc logstash pattern we have our match uh, to parse our logs and jinx logs and uh, we have finally our output our output is uh, uh, our elastic search uh, server on our localhost and we create an index uh, with a prefix nginx uh, dash okay so i save it um, i just uh, restart system CTL, restart logstash okay like here and now to show you how that work I just uh, go on my Kibana oh not this one um, sorry uh, this one okay and in Kibana we'll see it uh, later uh, if you go in uh, the left column and you go in stack, stack management and in stack manager management you can go into data data this is where you can uh, manage your elastic search cluster i go into index management and if i refresh i have no indices okay so uh, what we can do, I just do a simple curl on my nginx 127.0.0.1. I have a response, and if I go in my slash var log nginx and access log. I can see a new line with my request. I, I just uh, put a get uh, get request on slash, and I have a response to Android with a car. Uh, we have a date and time, and uh, our request come from uh, our local host. So now I can go into our kibana and if i refresh our indices what we see we have now our index with a prefix and the engines uh, dash okay i just uh, need to create a kibana index pattern so uh, kibana index pattern uh, help you to merge uh, when we have uh, many uh, index in uh, one uh, in one uh, in one pattern, I create index pattern. I just use nginx dash our prefix, and I click on next step. I select my uh, timestamp. And I click on create index pattern. And now I can choose uh, our uh, new analytics uh, interface. I go in uh, discover. And by default, Kibana open uh, our new pattern. And we, and we can see our first line. This is our first line of log. Or our engines. If I click here, I can open uh, and uh, open the, this line, and I see uh, some fields like uh, type doc, like uh, our timestamp, and we see our uh, chart uh, below, and uh, the host the name of our host, Elastic One. If I check our curl, uh, have been uh, sent uh, from Elastic One. The, the complete 
message, the line, where uh, this line is a store, and uh, the response, 200, okay. So now I can, I can do another request with, uh, for example, uh, the key. We have uh, 404 uh, response. If I check here, I refresh. So I take a few seconds and we have now two lines. And if I check the last document, the last line, I can see our new response here and uh, uh, our uh, message error and uh, we can see the complete line here with slash exact key. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you for following it and uh, I say you uh, goodbye and see you in the next video. Ciao!